Hello and welcome everyone. In this video, I'll show you how to deform a cloner using SPLine Wrap and how I used it in this project to make this pipe. So let's get started. Let's start off by adding a disk. And then let's increase the disk segments uh, to 3. And then press C to make it editable. And then choose the polygon select tool from here. And then let's delete around four of them. I'll press on nine on the numbers so I can select my polygon faces. Let's select these and then delete them. And then I'll choose the uh, edge selection tool from here and select these edges. To make it easier, I'll just press T and then double click here. It will select the outer edge like this since it's all connected let's change the view and then press e and near the uh, blue arrow from its head press ctrl and drag it like this let's drag uh, another time to make uh, an edge every time i press ctrl and then drag i make a new edge and then press t and from the same angle here on the blue arrow drag it while holding shift so that we go to around zero percent so it's all on the same level press k and then l to get the loop cut tool and then go around here to make a cut let's make it in the middle by clicking here it's perfectly in the middle with 50 percent and then let's press u and then l to grab our loop selection tool and choose our loop cut around here after doing so let's press shift and then c and type edge 2 and as you guessed it it's edge 2 sp line double click it and then in the object manager you will find your sp line in there we will use this sp line to drive our bike for now let's add a cylinder select the cylinder and in the attribute manager decrease the radius instead of 50 let's use 3 and in the height instead of 200 let's use 50 and for the height segments let's use 16 and then press on alt and head to this icon here which is the cloner and click on it you will find that your cloner is a parent of your cylinder first thing that you would think of is let's try using the object mode and then let the cloner do its magic with grabbing this uh, SP line and put it here and then you think let's go to transform and type in 90 into P and go back to the object tab and then increase this count instead of 10 you would increase it as much as you can get and then maybe let's make this even and check smooth rotation not the best result you would wish for so you would think of let's add an sp line deformer this one here sp line wrap and to make it work properly you would need to put it inside a null with the cloner so select both of them and then press alt g you will find that they are in the null and then to make it work you need the sp line to be at the top of the stack and then the cloner like this and now the sp line wrap is asking us to give an sp line so that he can um, deform the cloner so we will grab this one and put it here still not the result that we were wishing for this happened because we have chosen the object mode which we shouldn't we should actually use the linear we still need to do some adjustments first reset this one and then go to the sp line here and instead of uh, z plus use y <laughs> and as you can see it's all fixed and good to go 
you can also change the mode instead of uh, fix uh, you would choose keep the lens if you do so go back to the cloner and then in the object tab increase the count instead of three use as much as you prefer for me it's 14 uh, for now I'll press F2 so as you can see it's not the best thing that you would be wishing for maybe you want it to be more rounded to fix this issue head to the object manager and then choose the disk spline so instead of linear in the type choose let's say B spline instantly you would see a better result in the curvature and that would be it for today's video i hope you learned something from it thank you